Hello everybody and welcome back. This is Storytellers Talk to Twist Chat and this is basically going to be us talking to you about the show. So feel free to give us any questions you have about the show or whatsoever and we'll try and answer them to the best of our ability. And basically talking about next week and what's going to happen overall when people Storytellers. So, Justin, do you want to say anything? Do you have anything you want to say? No, um, so like my my favorite episode so far has been Little Red Riding Hood for me personally. Uh, this was the very first one we did, uh, and just the way it went off the rails was very very amusing. And I think this one did something very similar. Very similar. Uh, at, at, at the end, it just sort of went completely off the rails, and we ended up with a completely different ending. Uh, it wasn't as sad as the Little Red Riding Hood ending. Like there was some kind of hope because you know Hansel's all by himself now, but he, at least he's a rich sort of child who can make his way in the world and he has all these experiences that have made him clever and brave and pretty probably pretty buff if he was working out in that cage for four weeks uh but i don't know i just this is to me that's the that's the show um this is the format i think that best personifies the show so far uh, at least that we've been the most successful with uh and, and taking known stories and giving them like really uncertain uncertain conclusions uh, so I had a lot of fun today. I had an amazing amount of fun today. It's um, it's always it's always a pleasure doing the show. It's always a pleasure doing the show, and I'm glad to see so many people joining into us. Thank thanks everybody for being in chat. It's it's awesome to just have people enjoy what we have to offer. It's it's I'm very happy that you guys like, and you guys show up here and and watch us doing this. So. Yeah, if you have any other questions, just post them up in chat. And we'll be more than happy to answer them. So just be checky. Go on. What about me? Uh, well, well, I mean, you, I I know how I felt today. Went. How did you feel today? Went. It went good. At first, at first, it was very much like very close to the story, and I liked how it derailed so well. So it felt natural, you know? None of us pushed to either end. Like, none of us was pushing towards that thing or towards the other thing. So it felt very natural when it went off the rails. I think that's what actually makes the show. It's two people that just want to tell a story and have whatsoever no implication in it. No personal implication, because when you, when you tell a story and you want to tell a story in your own version, then you inevitably change a lot of stuff. And in this format where it's basically random, it's awesome because you can tell a story that feels a lot more natural than one that's being told with a specific ending in mind. Yeah, like uh, Hansel Redder has a moral, has like a message it's one, it wants to send and so on. Be it a bit stupid, it does have want to send a message. Um, but this, this show, this, there was no message in here. It was just a natural, it was, this was just a, an adventure. A Wednesday night adventure. <laughs> Indeed. So we're talking about, um, you know, last time we talked about a bit. Do you want to you share the idea of what we talked about, um, like the longer thing? Which longer thing? We had more than one idea. Uh, the Hercules thing, I think. Oh, yeah. So we, we were debating um, mythology, and we were debating um, sort of mixing, like taking one story and moving it to a different genre and seeing how that would work. So we were debating uh, doing a chaotic storytelling where we took the idea of Hercules and we moved him into science fiction. So Hercules was like the name of the project that gave him super strength. Um. Or no, Zeus was the name of the project that gave him super strength, and the subject's name was Hercules. And it was this awesome idea of basically had just having a um, short campaign DM'd by, well, campaign, like adventure story uh, that's trying to send the mythological message, the mythological kind of like story in a sci-fi version. Yeah. So presumably they would be like trying to adapt a superhuman to a to clean out a planet full of greek-like monsters that like evolve that way naturally um i think i think it's a pretty awesome idea it's one of those things that may be sad that we bring in <laughs> and by that i mean that 
Justin would actually have enough time during the holidays to maybe make this happen. Like, and we can yeah. do it. Maybe it'll be it'll it'll be tight. But we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. It's one of those things that just stay with us, guys, and we'll see how how it goes. How hap how it happens. <laughs> so, Justin, hmm? what was your favorite part of today? What's your favorite moment? Favorite moment of the day was clearly Alakazam, bitch. <laughs> First or second? Uh, the, the, the second one. The, the part where it was actually in the story. Um, the fact that the son said it when he was leaving was pretty good. Although I think the, some of the impact was lost on the father who hadn't didn't understand the uh, the context. But still. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can pretty get that. Pretty good. Um, I think I think Martor might uh, do that sometime when he's casting like fireball or something. <laughs> Maybe that'll be his tag phrase. Brutus is, is my god is better than yours, and Martor's can be <laughs> Alakazam, bitch. That would be pretty interesting because it would be a, like a, an Easter egg for the people who came here and watched Pinball Stories, and only them would know what happens in your chat about this. No, that'd be pretty good. That'd be pretty good. I'm going to say that in a day to day life now. What? I, he's going to say that in day to day life now. Like oh. every day, every day he's going to say that. Videotape yourself. Videotape yourself and send it here. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see that. So uh. Black Matt. Sorry, I cannot. Black Mackin on it? Have I pronounced that right? Yeah, B Hawk Mackin on it. Do you want to answer that? What is the meaning of this? Um, this so we do a show where we we take familiar stories and we put them in an RP, a role playing game system like like D and D, and so now uh, this, the endings become very uncertain because we're rolling dice. And this is a this is the after show where we talk to people and we answer questions, um, get feedback on the show, uh, stuff like that. I think, I think that uh, you have you all have always had the best way of explaining the show. <laughs> I uh, honestly, well, yeah. I mean, because it, it's it's such a great concept, so it's not like it's hard to like. I'm always so eager to share it with people. I think is is part of it. So it's like the the enthusiasm of the explanation always comes always comes through. I think that's a big factor. Like, I bought some donuts, and she asked me to pay, and I would be like, Oh, a Kazam, bitch! And swam down the money. <laughs> do you wanna- do you wanna see your video? Live on- on- on, on Storytale Stock Twitch. Videotape it, and we'll, I'll- I promise, personally, i play it. <laughs> oh, that so awesome. Wow. I hope that doesn't become a thing. Like, there's tons of there become there there's suddenly hundreds of videos on the internet of people like buying things or doing a magic trick in front of women and being like Alexander. <laughs> oh, internet Jesus. internet fat started from saw blades uh, video. Oh wow, that would be something. Yeah. Oh, it's about that time. Mm -hmm. I'm a bit tired myself. Now, if I ever start a meme, I don't want it to be Alakazam. <laughs> like I, 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 I'm perfectly happy with the like the free advertisement that me starting a meme would give, but I don't want it to be Alakazam. It's not what I want to be remembered for. <laughs> like I can see that on my tombstone, and he started the Alakazam bitch meme. <laughs> Be most famous accomplishment. Well, at least it's an accomplishment. Some people do not manage to get that. <laughs> Ah, uh, all right, all right. So Twitch chat's pretty dead. Looks like there's not a lot of questions for us today. So um, we'll do the we're doing this next week. We're gonna be going back to Friday next week, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Just normal, right. uh, normal format Friday. So we we will be going back to Friday next week. Um, we have a we have a, a little bit of surprise for you guys. So uh, get hyped about that. Um, next week will be a a, a first something that has uh, never happened before. Oh, and <laughs> I mean, technically, every week is something new on Pinbell Storytellers because you never know. But uh, yeah, and uh, we will see you guys next time. Yep, yep. We'll see you guys next time. Um, I'm actually, gonna see you guys for about two days. 
So I'm going to see you for a game stream over on Saturday. Well, most likely, I think we're going to play, we're going to start a series of the Telltale games. And do all of the Telltale games out there. And see how that goes. I see you guys on Saturday. Go over and watch Justin get kicking ass at Hearthstone. Or getting his ass kicked, which is even more funnier. <laughs> and if you guys like Arena, I'm actually in the middle of an Arena run that I'm going to finish up. Uh, it's a Paladin Arena run. It's currently 3-0. So... Nice. Good luck. Okay, so we'll see you guys next Friday with more Primo Storters. Bye-bye. Have a good night.